Oh, we're on the wrong camera. We're we on Jerry. Where to watch? Jerry, there's exactly no one watching you. I've got. No one's watching Jerry. My connection. Don't turn your Wi-Fi off. Wi-Fi off. Wi-Fi off. Off. Yes, right now. I'm 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 okay. Are we still. I don't know if we're live. GoPros don't work well in low light. Oh, we have 10 people. Sorry. Oh, we do. Oh, hello, hello. Hello. We thought our connection was Sorry. weak. Hello, everybody. Hello, Dara. If Dora. anyone's got anything on Wi-Fi, I will get a stick. There's a big stick there against the I've got, tree. Yes, there's a big stick. And I've got my walking stick here. <laughs> uh, Toby Trelonomy Bonomy Pheasant. How, how are you, Toby? Nice to see you out here. Of course, I know Toby. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Becky. Hi, Barra. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Mary. Oh, wonderful. We've got everybody jumping on board. Lots of likes. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Gemma. <laughs> Gemma says, hello. Yeah, we are live. Okay, well, Sorry. This is, this is, this is now, um, I forgot my, my stick thing, so I think we're going to do this enough light. And we're going to do it oh, this okay, way. John, um, Jerry's actually offering to be our camera. Say hello, friend. Jerry. No, I think we can do it on the table. Okay. Then no one Jerry. has to hurt their arms. Hi, Hi Gabby. Hi, single tomorrow. sock party. Single sick party. I think I meant a single sock party. Did you typo? Did I? I might have typoed. <laughs> Guys, let me know. Did I typo? A single sick party. Um, I meant a single I sock party. So it happens every now and again here at uh, the Safari Live crew. Every now and again was no, optimistic. you did say sock party. Well done. I did oh. say I didn't typo. Oh, well Jerry's checked. Thank you, Jerry. Um, so who typoed? I didn't typo. Someone else typoed. Oh, where's the cat? Oh, that's oh, Jennifer. There we go, then I won't get my finger oh in the way. Oh my goodness, way. what happens to the people watching when that happens? Do they, <laughs> just, do they just get annoyed? Sorry. How can you have any socks when you don't any, wear any, uh, Natalie? Well, Natalie, I do in the mornings when it's cold. So what happens is because we live in a big camp, uh, for some reason, we have a lot of single socks. We do. And uh, so we have now to brought... To say we have a lot of single socks. This is only we have half. only single socks. This is only half the single socks. Ah. We just ran single socks. So now we have collected them. And okay, this I wasn't is... using my right eye. Anyway. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Right. Um, oh, did I drop any? Okay, no, no I think you're fine. Okay, so what happens is we collect all the single socks and everyone puts single socks on the table and, and we have a single sock party. And your aim is to match your single sock with a single sock from the other camp. So we live, we live, we live at, at Inga's house, which is on the other side of quarantine. So socks that belong in the DRC have migrated to Inga's and socks that belong at Inga's have migrated to the DRC. So we're just trying to reconnect the socks. There's a wonderful advert many years ago in South Africa yes. with a single sock. Where all single socks go, there was a single sock sort of making its way to a beach party with all and, the other uh, single socks. And, uh, and it ended up on a oh, forgotten island and, and a great it soundtrack. It was for Tracker. And uh, it was Iggy Pop. It was Iggy Pop, who was yeah. one of my favorite musicians. Um, the Passenger. Um, what's the most challenging thing about being a safari guide from Lindsay? Jamie? I'm trying to think. What's the most challenging thing for you? Um, well, things are different now. I mean, this is, uh, we wouldn't call us the traditional safari mm -hmm. guide. I think um, in terms of challenging, it would probably be... I don't know. It's a difficult one. There's so many challenging things. Maybe... To say the very long days where you are, you're up very early and then you're looking yeah. after people and you, you're sort of constantly with people um, and interacting with them, hosting the dinners and so on. And that, whilst that's wonderful, it's one of the wonderful things about being a safari guide, I think it does start to, the end of a six week cycle, it does start to take its toll a little bit. I don't know what you think. Yeah, I would probably say uh, it all depends on where you're working. Uh, yeah, but generally, I, we're quite lucky here. We don't have a lot of the normal, normal problems. Mm -hmm. Um, there was some. There was a comment I wanted to see. It was see. a comment from Aaron, by the way. I did see it. Thank you, Aaron. Aaron's providing me with some choking advice next time I, I inhale yeah. and and drink with the same. Well, time. See, I nearly choked on a fly today I as know. well. Okay, so um, Jennifer says, Brent Jamie was bragging about your artistic ability. Uh, when are we going to see some proof? Oof. Well, I haven't drawn or painted in a very long time. I've decided to put it more into my photography these days. Oh yes, that was when you were doing leopard territories and apparently it was scribbles. It was scribbles, but also drawing on an iPad is very different, different from drawing on a piece sure. of paper. As, as Jenny um, said, I was bragging. 
Okay. Ellen, it's a pleasure uh, for answering your question on uh, about baboons. baboons. Uh, let me just go back in my memory as to what it was. It was was that where they would ever hunt or be a danger to the impala that they're with. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so we did discuss that and the possibility of them grabbing a lamb. Becky would like to know when is Jamie paying her fleet. So I've, we're waiting for we are waiting for the lovely James Henry to return to us. Which word on the street is and, that? And Bradley was asking about that. Okay. Um, they will. <laughs> Aaron says, "Open your mouth next time you choke on a fly; it'll fly out." Um, <laughs> I will. I will try and play my flute. We decided the other night when we were driving home, listening to the radio, that perhaps um, we found a mango groove. A mango right? groove. Have a look at that; it's a very awesome we South African get, band. We have to get Mr. Henry on board. Oh, I'm not doing it on my I've own. I've got uh, Charles uh, G. Collicott has joined. Charles and I actually used to live together many years ago. In Cape Town, actually, me face. I used to squat on his couch while I was in between apartments. Oh, that's Charles. Hi, Charles. Yes, hello, Charlie. Um, Samantha, we showed you um, how our hyena cubs were. I'm sure they're absolutely fine and thriving and well fed and all those things. We saw, we saw. I think it was June. Um, the two Junes, the male and the female, feeding on that buffalo carcass. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Okay, so we've had them so coming just and going. over a year old. Well, I'm guessing just from the age okay. that it would be them. Um, we've only got one, well anyway, doesn't matter, but we've got, they, our hyenas have moved into Manuleti. Jason says, I have an uncle in Cape Town, how long does it take to get from Cape Town to here? Now, <laughs> okay, so. We actually have somebody doing that drive now. Yeah, so Vim is actually driving from Cape Town yeah. to here. So, depending on your route, it's probably nine hours to Natal, oh, nine hours, no more. So it's about 17 hours, it must be. Isn't it 17 hours from Joburg? You are right. So it's add another add five. Add another, it's, it's, it's a day, 20, it's a day, 20, a 20, 20, 22 hours. Straight driving. So um, you can fly, of course, directly from Cape Town to either Nelspreit or Hoodspreit. It would be a much easier option. It's a yes. long drive. But there's some really awesome places to stop mm. along the way. Kayan is wondering about the gorilla video. Uh, guys, it is in Joburg with our editors. It'll be out so next week from it's what I hear. Um, so uh, Carol's also wondering about uh, the, the gorillas. And I said next week at some point we should hopefully have that Safari Live story I'm out. I'm looking Yay. forward to it. I'm really, really excited. And, well, apparently, you know, one interesting thing is um, well, the baboons around. And Cynthia, I'm not sure what you mean, update on the baboon brief. Debrief, baboons debrief. Uh, they were the only thing I can update you on was that they were at the Juma Dam this evening and they went, they've gone to sleep now around mm. the Galago camp or Voyatella camp, somewhere up in the trees there. I saw them while I was walking around looking for those mating leopards. Did you? Uh, awesome. Susie, uh, yes, any updates from Wonder? Yes, next week, the video is coming next week. There, Kit Tan, yay! <laughs> so excited. I suppose Jason would be used to long drive in the States. It's, it's the a States, very big country. We, we think of South Africa as big. I, I think the States is... Um, it's massive. Is, yeah, it's just a little <laughs> bit bigger. I, mean, I, I remember my last trip to the States. Um, we drove across the whole of Florida, which is quite a narrow part of the States, and it's still, it's still a fair distance. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, what's the largest? Alaska's the largest state, and yes, then Texas. Um, yes, Texas. I think Arizona's also quite big. I think, yeah. I, um, I don't know. I've never been to the States. One day. Yes, one Jason, day. come. Come to see the wildlife in, in person. person yes. Hello, James. Hello, Donna. Oh, Donna can't wait to see the gorilla Me neither. outfit. <laughs> Jennifer's in informing Jason, you can get cheap flights from Cape Town. Well, look, the exchange rate works <laughs> in highly your in your favor for all of you planning a trip. Uh, thank you very much, Cheryl. Cheryl says, love you all from oh, New Brunswick you, in Canada. That's wonderful to have you. Okay, here we go. Nancy, when, you want to yeah, Nancy one? wants to know when James and Brian return. James will be returning to our shores Sunday. Sunday. And, uh, Brian and Brian Tuesday. Tuesday. There you go. So they will be on their way. Nobody, I don't, I don't know. We'll have to chat to Brian before he gets back here. I feel as though he needs a little bit of a, a pre-warning. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go show you something very sad. We need another torch. I don't know if we should do it. I don't Jerry. know if we should do it on this. Yes, but you're not allowed to tell Brian. But Brian might watch it and then he'll be really sad. You're not allowed to tell Brian. Jerry. Producer. Where's it hiding? We need a torch. Here you go. Right. I think she's. So. This is a, a very it's closed a area. Idea. I don't know. Paul Brian. Brian. And we might have to tell him. But no, no, we're not. Don't tell Brian. Don't tell Brian. 
Okay, so what happened is it, it is a drought and a male bushback decided to come and unfortunately for Brian, let me just turn my camera around. Yes, there we go. We're, we're this is very sad. So these were lovely big sunflowers and Never the bushback the bush left, left, what is it, it's a, it's a, ah, it's, it's a love grass. Yeah. And so the bushback left the indigenous love grass, but it ate all of Brian's sunflowers. And I mean, can you hold for me there, Jamie? Yeah. So, I mean, they must have been Quite about this high. <laughs> I mean, uh, so unfortunately, the bushback was hungry and uh, it, it managed to sneak in. But leave the indigenous love grass. I'm really sad. I'm really Brian, he was very he proud. Was so good to those flowers. And he was very proud of his of his flowers. Okay. So unfortunately that's very, very sad. Sorry, Brian. Yeah, Donna says it's our secret. Yes, Donna. I think we better uh, I, I think I think I think it'll be worse if we, he's forewarned that his things have been eaten. Oh, yes. no, Roseanne, oh no! Past. Donna, oh I love signs! Uh, Jason, Bushbuck was hungry. Terence thinks it's quite funny, he just says ha ha. Can uh, says no! And so yes, uh, unfortunately for Brian, his plants got eaten. I'm probably sure he's going to come up with a contraption to keep the Bushbuck out Absolutely. of them. Absolutely, um, they'll grow back. It's just they were gave it so proud of the first flowers came out. Mary's also had her sunflowers beheaded, but by squirrels. I thought Mary meant she beheaded the squirrels. That yes, no, it must have beheaded the squirrels. I'm sorry, I completely misread that. That's not no. what Mary meant at all. Uh, James Richard, good idea. Uh, Brian should do a, a, a thumb sunflower in yes, memorandum. Yes, that's a very, in memoriam. very good idea. Well, sunflower sprouts are good. They are. Uh, just ask the local bushbuck. He's a very nice big male. We often see him sleeping next to the, the vehicles. He's there now. Is he there? Is he He's next to the now, cars? Now. I didn't see him. Female. Okay. Bad, bad bushbuck, Eileen. <laughs> yes. No, I think that the bushbuck's the fattest bushbuck in the Sabi Sands during the drought. Yes, he's, he's doing very well. Uh, and I think it might make another turn to even shorten the sprouts a bit more. But guys, it's been great catching up with you uh, on you Facebook. All. And thank you for all over. Wait, I'm going to take one more. Um, how do you get over your fear of creepy crawlies and spiders? Immersion therapy. Immersion it's therapy. Wonders. It's done wonders for my brother. Yeah. He's definitely <laughs> he's definitely changed. He's got I mean look, it's still there. But it's quite um, fun to terrorize him. Shame. Um, but it definitely has improved. Hi Anne. Well, sorry, Anne, you're jumping on board as we're saying and goodbye. goodbye. Yeah, sorry, so we're about to say goodbye. We're going to go sit by the fire and uh, burn some meat for dinner. And uh, we, yes, uh, we're all quite hungry, and a lovely roaring campfire awaits. So we will see you in a couple of hours. Very soon. A very short, short nights for us here. So we all go to bed quite early, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. And so will Jamie. Yes, absolutely. Um, and Aaron, keep watching it work. Yes. We love it. Yes, yes. <laughs> You're very naughty, Aaron. <laughs> Angus, oh, <laughs> it's not in ja Jamie's brother is watching, and uh, he has commented rubbish. His fear of creepy crawlies has not improved. Well done, Angus. <laughs> touche, Angus. Touche. Uh, <laughs> Hope you're having fun with mom and dad. Okay, guys. Well, from us, we're going to go get some dinner and sit by the fire. So we'll see you in a couple of hours. Bye. -bye. Bye.